Well, good evening and welcome to the Oak Point Nature Preserve in Plano, Texas. Tonight's exercise is the first field test of the Phoenix LR60R searchlight. It's been called a beast. Does it live up to the hype? Well, I guess we'll find out. Tonight, I do want to thank Phoenix Lighting for sending me the product and making the review possible. For more information on the product, I'll leave a link to their website in the video description. Please go check that out. For comparison purposes, I think back to the previous Phoenix searchlight that I reviewed, the LR40R V2, and uh, right out of the box, there is a lot to like about this platform. Let's just start with carry options since the most notable difference is the tripod mount. I'm uh, experimenting tonight with this ultralight field tripod. You have the removable handle. There's also a strap setup that comes with it. I did try that out last night for about an hour and 15 minutes. For me personally, I didn't particularly care for it. I just felt the, the weight of the light too much after that time frame. I think if I were going to ingress one to two hours to uh, search an AOR, I would most likely just strip as much weight as I could out of my uh, ruck or even carry a lighter pack, put this in the pack, get it nice and centered, just an easier way for me to carry. In terms of the UI, absolutely like the dial. It's so simple, even a bozo like me can do it. You turn it one way for the flood as well as strobe SOS, other way for spot modes, including the big turbo that I know you want to see, 21,000 lumens. USB-C charging, power bank. If you happen to forget what output level you're in, You've got an output indicator right here. We'll take a look at that tonight. You also have a replaceable battery pack. To me, that's a big enhancement, especially if I'm out in a very long search. Uh, I'm in my vehicle. I'm using the uh, higher uh, output levels for an extended period of time. It'd be nice to be able to pop in a uh, replacement battery pack on an as-needed basis. But that's enough of me babbling on. I know you're not here to listen to me. You want to see what 21,000 lumens looks like. All right, then. Sun is almost down. Give me another 20 minutes, and we'll get right to it. All right, let's get started. High spot, 3,000 lumens. As you can see, a lot of particulates in the air. The reflection that you see in the distance is a sign that is at the top of a wooden post just over 600 yards from my current position. Let's bump that up. And as we go side to side, yeah, you can see what the uh, full 21,000 looks like. Huh. Pretty much lighting up the entire lake. The bugs certainly love it. I do too, for that matter. And it's official. First snake of the season. Here we are, opposite end of the lake. The lowest flood, I believe Phoenix calls that medium. Then one up, move that up a little bit more. And then we're topping out at 15,000 lumens. All right, here's an open area test. We're at uh, 300 lumens on the spot. 
Line of sight, I seem to recall checking this on Google Maps and we're looking at 900 to 1,000 yards. I don't have any expectation of being able to light that up, but uh, let's suppose I got a thermal hit way out there. Uh, don't know what it is. It could be the kid I'm searching for laying on the ground. It could be a coyote chilling out. Uh, I'm going to check this out, see if I pick up eye shine, see if I pick up anything reflective that would help me make a visual ID. Let's bump that up one. So that's a thousand lumens on the spot. There we go. And one more, there's our favorite, 3,000. There's uh, a diminishing point of returns because of all the particulates in the air. It was very windy earlier today. Uh, the wind just died down within about the last 45 minutes to an hour, but there's still a lot of dust and particulates in the air. So let's say uh, I'm looking through my magnified optic. I think that's worth checking out, but before I go there straight line, I want to check out the surrounding terrain. So, oh wow, look at that. I mean, I can't get any better terrain detail than that. Now, it's going to get hot. It's going to step down aggressively, but for 30 seconds to a couple of minutes, just uh, primarily for extra visual detail, terrain detail, etc. This is, uh, wow, if this doesn't sell it, I don't think anything will. All right, here we are, bridge looking over a creek. Let's run through the floods in a darker, more confined area. One up. And then max out. I'll show you the side to side. I'll do the same thing with all of the spot modes at uh, the end of the exercise at another creek. And there's wide angle lens. So this is a photonic barrier test. Spot output. You can see we've got the parking lot lights here, but I'm looking back into a dark pocket there that I had zero visibility into. Let's bump the level up one more. That's outstanding right there at a thousand lumens. Then there's our high spot, and I know you want to see it. Burning up a lot of battery doing this, though, not to mention the heat. Oh, yes, the bugs still love it. So it looks like we've got somebody else observing the review tonight. I hope you hit that like and subscribe button. One more time through the spot outputs, darker, more confined settings, starting with eco, low, medium, high, and then the big kahuna to finish it off. And wide angle lens. So I'm back up in the parking lot. 300 lumen spot. I'm going to do a quick wrap up here. I really only have a couple things to say. One is it was uh, fun, if you will, hauling that tripod around uh, the entire 
Now I got my uh, workout in. Two, I guess this light impresses me as being similar to an LEP. I want one even if I don't have a use case for it. I'm very grateful that I do have multiple use cases in search and rescue. In fact, I'd like to get this light out to the LBJ grasslands in the next week, week and a half, and show you uh, some more mounting and use cases. Uh, they are finishing up the final controlled burns of the season, so I'm hoping to get that done in at least the next seven to 10 days. I think you'll probably notice that we burn up quite a bit of battery tonight running those uh, high-end tests, so that's something to be aware of if you uh, decide you want to get a light like this and uh, run it in 21,000 lumen output for a sustained period of time. Uh, keep in mind that I did no off-camera testing, so the battery burn tonight was entirely from each of the segments that you saw. Speaking of the subject of saw, if you would like to see something else for the uh, next test, uh, leave a comment. I'll see what I can do. And as always, until the next review, thank you very much for your time and thank you for watching the video.